Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Mr. Robot season number three, episode number four, Shut Down. This episode directed by Sam Ishmael. And here we have in this episode right here, we have the Dark Army trying to put an end to anybody who's in their way. Here's the Dark Army 1. The Dark Army 1, their plan has been fulfilled and everything is going in their favor. And then you have Elliot trying to stop them because he felt because they used him to get what they wanted but the what the what the, the main goal was to take down the evil corp it didn't happen so everything he did <clears throat> and the part that he played and all the people who got killed and died were for nothing and it wasn't even something for something big or grand it was something for something petty it was just really messed up. And it pissed Elliot off. And he feels as though the Dark Army has to go down. And so, him, for the first time ever, you have Elliot and Mr. Robot, his other personality, working together to try to stop the Dark Army. And they come up with a plan, and they say they have a stage three. No one is a lie, because they don't. <clears throat> but they just wanted to tell um, um, White Rose this, so he, so he has something to think about, and so they, they feel, feel, feel as though that they still need him, so he can use them, so he can get inside their system, and then shut down everything that they, that they, um, they, they, um, they made. And, and the only way he can do this, he, um, he had to get in there through the, through the FBI. Even though they know it wasn't my own FBI is in, in the Dark Army's pocket, Darl they used Darlene to get, to get close to, um, um, per, per, um, the 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 perio to, so they get so they get this card they can use so they can break in and hack in and get the information they need to take down the dark army once and for all. Well, the dark army found out about this and they gather Elliot, they gather um Darlene, they gather they gather the, the perio and they get them all together to pretty much kill them. Pretty much kill them. This is their well. Not, I'm not sure about <clears throat> all of them. <clears throat> I'm not sure about all of them because. See, now, one of the agents, Agent Santiago, was forced to work alongside the Dark Army. Not because he wanted to, because he was forced to. <clears throat> and he tried to get the people to see that, but she also finds out that he actually was in their pocket the whole time. Which you think she would have figured that out a long time ago, but no, she was just as shocked as everybody else. She was just, she was just as shocked. Like this. I can't believe you actually was part of this, but... He was, and so since but since the period messed since um, Santiago messed up so much, well, spoiler alert right here, he was taken out, and then he got replaced by the Perio. <clears throat> she is she is now in the place with the Dark Army and uh, took a place on Santiago. She may not have his rank, but she still is a go getter. She's smart. She knew how to get things done, and so, well, Santiago failed. Now she had, now she had to pick up the mantle. She doesn't want to. She didn't, she didn't like the, 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 um, the path she was given, but she's on it now, and she has no choice because the Dark Army threatened her by saying, Hey, don't you have family members? Don't you have people who live here and here and here? We know everything about you. And if you don't play along this offer that we're giving to you, which is good for you, well, you might start losing family members. So do you want to lose family members or do you want to get a nice, good little promotion? Uh, which, which, which one do you want? Be on our side where you be happy and alive and so is your family members or try to fight us and be the good, good FBI agent and do the right thing and, that, and lose everybody you love and you be an orphan. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? <clears throat> yeah, so she's not having a good day. So you have Elliot trying to find a way to um, make sure that he doesn't die, his sister doesn't die. Matter of fact, nobody dies. He's trying to make sure nobody stays alive. So you see him with the scrambling in this episode right here. And then you get a revelation. Angela thought that her father and her mother were dead. Turns out, nope. Because she had her Star Wars moment this moment in this episode right here. She had a Star Wars moment. Because she said, Y'all killed my father. He says, No. Philip said to her, No. I am your father. And she said, No. And then they told her to search for felons and all that stuff like that. And 
chopped her hand off. Well, that, that, part, that part didn't happen. But still, nonetheless, <clears throat> she finds out that she actually still has family out there. It's Philip Price, the guy she was trying to take down the whole time. But it is what it is. And, she, and she's also having a nervous breakdown because the whole situation with all the people dying and she was part of it. She's still trying to get her mind wrapped around that because she thought it was like, she thought that it was for something grand. She thought she was doing something that's going to actually help people. She actually believed everything White Rose wanted her to believe. He played her, he used her, he used her feelings, he used her emotions, what she, things that she cared about to get what he wanted, to find out that, er, that everything she did was for nothing, was not, was just too much. Was just too much. But overall, this was a great episode. I mean, I really did enjoy it a whole lot. The revelations, the reveals was fantastic. Um, finding out about Philip Price and her, his connection to Angela was just, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think they were. I, I see. I was always wondering why he was so obsessed with her. I just thought she reminded her of a girlfriend or something like that, or something. I thought he wanted to sleep with her. I, I, but I didn't. I didn't exactly know exactly what it was or something. I didn't. I didn't think the whole father angle. I didn't see that one coming. And then he started telling her the story how he met her. How he, he met her mother and stuff like that. I said, "Oh my God, that's her dad! Oh my God, that's her dad!" Huh. And then the whole shocking situation with the Perio. Her being forced to be to work alongside the Dark Army now, that's really messed up. And she's been trying to, the messed up part is, she has been chasing out them, trying to take them down throughout this whole series. Now she's working with them. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is messed up. But it did, it did do some uh, something good out of this. You have Elliot and Mr. Robot working together. For the first time ever. They're not trying to backstab one another, betray one another, get the upper hand over one another. They were actually working along together side by side this time. Yeah. Now how that's going to affect the next, later on in the season, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. And now, and now that the period has to work on, have to work with the Dark Army now, how that's going to affect her and her mental state. Will she be able to handle it? Will she be able to keep moving forward with knowing that she has to do this? Ugh. And the thing is, though, she's, she's even more hurt because she actually she did like Dar she actually did like Darlene. And she feels as though she's been used and betrayed. And now she's like, ah. Uh, because the thing is, though, she doesn't, the period doesn't really open up that much to many people. She doesn't have any friends. She stays by herself. And so this is like somebody who she, she knew it was wrong to do this, but she opened up to her. She actually connected with her, and she liked her. And then they slept together, and then to find out she was just using her. Like, oh. And I actually do think Darlene actually, actually does care about her. I think she actually, Darlene actually does like her. But the problem is, it just, she, it's just that even though her feelings may be true for her, she still used her in the process. So, like, this, dang, that's, that's really, really messed up. Oh. So like I said, overall, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Mr. Robot. And if you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel the big old like if it thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.